I'm Allison. I'm from Handels Black Global, and I'm here in Washington, D.C. I think it's about time they take this role. I would say we are ready for the lesser of two evils. Immigration has made this country, and the, the idea that we're going to treat immigrants this way, even rhetorically, I just feel like it's not only my, not my party, but in some ways it's suddenly become not my country. Germany last year took in a million refugees. Um, should America take more refugees? Oh, yes. Yeah, I think we should do more to help people, but I think a million refugees, if they're unvetted like they are right now, I think it, it can be tough, really, to know who you're bringing in. Because this is America, this is the land of the free and the home of the brave, and, you know, this is supposed to be where all the love is. So, absolutely. The problem with Donald Trump's candidacy isn't the economic policies he's outlined, it's his unpredictability, and people just do not know whether we'd launch into a trade war with China, for example, or what kind of foreign policy we'd enter into. That spooks the markets and that's where you might see a serious move downward on Wednesday. Oh yeah, people love the Trump coloring book. This one's selling the best, the child's yeah. first book of Trump. But now I hope that you're ready to win. For winning is what a Trump loves to do best. We'll be winning so much you might get depressed. This kind of sums up the whole U.S. election. It's really cold outside. They're calling it a major freeze, weeks ahead of normal. Man, we could use a big fat dose of global warming. I um, think that's terrible, maybe not something you should joke about. President Barack Obama, <laughs> race relations are almost as bad as they've ever been in the history of country. Not slavery? <laughs> this guy's an idiot to be, this is comedy. I'm loving it. These have been some of our most popular toys in recent months. Uh, we have the Hillary and Donald Chew Toys. Let the dogs out! And we're here today to find out what the dog's choice is with these two presidential uh, dog toys. Okay, and well, you think Isla is a, is a Trump voter? No, I think she's a voter. I hope she's a Hillary voter. Oliver chooses Trump. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's eating Trump, so he doesn't like Trump. Oh yeah, all right, so there you go. Good girl. Somebody take Hillary. I'm going to be voting on jobs for our people. We need work. We don't need illegal immigrants coming in here. Voting for Trump, and I'm and I don't like Hillary. My first time voting, and I'm so excited to have the first woman president. I think you are a blight on democracy. I think you are racist. You are a bigot, and you don't stand for the values that this country believes in. America won't be bullied by anyone. And you, we won't honor your ego project for trying to lead us as a free people. Who do you think is going to win? H Hillary. We love you, Hillary. Hopefully her day has come. I think Hillary will win. Trump. Do a good job. I think do a good job. Okay. Do a good job. Right. This is Spencer Kimball reporting for Handelsblatt Global Edition in front of the White House on election night. A crowd has gathered in front of the White House after a shocking upset tonight by Donald Trump in several key swing states. As you can see, protesters have gathered in front of the White House. They're chanting anti-Trump slogans and protesting in favor of Hillary Clinton. This is awesome. This is democracy in process. Everyone's here right now. What time is it? 2 3 in the morning, Eastern Coast time? They still haven't called the president yet, is that correct? Google called it. Google called it for who? For Trump. For Trump. USA! 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 Donald Trump winning this election tonight. This is our version of Brexit. The fact that most of the mainstream media outlets missed tonight's results, they aren't in touch with how middle America is feeling. Both as a woman, as an American, I had so much hope and my heart is broken. It's just mind blowing to me that people could stand behind some of what he was saying. I'm extremely happy. I knew that Donald would win and I'm happy that he did.
I'm really shocked. I don't think he's qualified to be president, but he won somehow. <laughs> Most people I know are just devastated. I'm really curious to see what he's going to do. I'd like him to clean some things up. Chancellor Angela Merkel has been very tight-lipped throughout the entire election race, but today she uh, said publicly that she would offer a close cooperation to Mr. Trump. Vladimir Putin sent congratulations to the new U.S. President Donald Trump by telegram. I'm protesting Donald Trump being elected president. Yeah, I'm here with so many hundreds of uh, my fellow Americans and folks from all over the globe who are welcoming President-elect Trump to the White House. Not my president! Not my president! Our first black president, Barack Obama, has to hand over the White House to a man who's some of his strongest proponents are the KKK, and that's just terrifying.